new duplex controller. How to change field programmable operations. For all programming operations, first make sure that all floats are off. If any float switches are activated, run the pumps manually to lower the tank level or disconnect the activated floats from the controller terminal block. And second, both hand off auto switches are set to off. Now you are ready to start. Pump failure detection. If the same lead and leg pumps are activated for three consecutive pump cycles, the controller is factory programmed to provide an alarm indication. This could mean that you have a problem with the lead pump. To deactivate pump failure detection, press the stop test button rapidly four times, holding on the last press for over a second. Once successfully reprogrammed, the pump run lights will flash red. If the lights don't flash, try repeating the button press sequence and double check that you've completed steps one and two properly. To verify that you have deactivated the pump failure detection alarm, cycle the controller power. If deactivated, the pump run lights will not flash at power up. To reactivate the pump failure detection, simply repeat the four press pattern with the stop test button. If pump detection has been reactivated, the pump run light will flash red when you cycle the controller power. To finish, turn the handoff auto switches to auto and reconnect all float switches. High water auto slash manual alarm reset. To change the high water alarm from auto to manual reset or vice versa, repeat the same four press sequence with the lead test button. The pump run lights will flash red if reprogramming was successful. If they don't, try pressing the button four times again and double check steps one and two. To verify activation, press the alarm test button and see if the desired alarm condition is achieved. If you have activated the manual alarm reset function, you will need to press the exterior panel alarm test silence switch to deactivate the alarm. To finish, Turn the hand off auto switches to auto and reconnect all float switches. Seal failure audible alarm. If the seal failure option has been ordered, the controller is factory programmed to only activate the seal failure lights and alarm beacon. To include the audible alarm, reprogram the controller using the same four press sequence on the leg test button. If reprogramming is successful, the seal fail one and two lights will flash. If they do not flash, repeat the button sequence and double check steps one and two. To verify the seal failure audible alarm, rotate the seal failure resistance dial to NC. This should activate the alarm so you can check that the desired condition is achieved. To deactivate the audible alarm, repeat the four press sequence on the leg test button. To finish, Reset the seal fail resistance to the desired value, set the pump hand off auto switches to auto, and reconnect the float switches. Alarm flashing slash constant alarm. To change the high water alarm condition from constant to flashing or vice versa, use the same four press sequence on the alarm test button. The pump run lights will flash red if reprogramming was successful. If the pump run lights do not flash, try pressing the button again and repeat the first two steps. To verify activation of either alarm flashing or constant alarm, simply press the alarm test button and see if the desired alarm condition is achieved. To finish, turn the hand off auto switches to auto and reconnect all float switches. For more information, check out our other videos or visit www.sjrhombus.com.